Hello everyone, this video is brought to you by bloggershelp.com and to, in this video we will see how to make a website using WordPress. So without wasting any time, let's start the proceedings. To make the site, we need, we need two things. One is a domain name which represents the site and the other one is a hosting account where our site is hosted. Those two are the main uh, two main things we need to get started. So let's see how to uh, get a domain name. To get a domain name, I personally recommend Namecheap, but it doesn't matter uh, which uh, registrar you use. Head over to Namecheap and start searching for a domain name. So let's uh, see how we can get a domain name. Go to Namecheap, and as you can see, you can search for a domain name you want in the given search box. So let's uh, do a search. Once you enter the domain name, Namecheap will show whether domain, the domain name is available or not. If the .com extension is not available, uh, it will show uh, what are the other uh, available extensions so at times you may find that the do domain name you searched isn't available so that's a very common scenario in fact uh, in that case keep uh, searching for an available uh, one so as you can see in this case the the domain we searched is available so you can add it to the cart and uh, proceed to check out one important thing in here when searching for a domain try not to get a very long one and also uh, try to get a domain name which is memorable so that uh, it will be easy for your users to keep the name in mind once you have found a domain name just add it to the cart and then go to cart let's go to cart and see how to complete the process actually we have to add to the cart then we will go to the how to complete the process. You will see that Namecheap provide one year free Whois card subscription. What it does is that once activated, it will protect the privacy of your domain, which means that no one can uh, get the Whois database information related to your domain. So enable it. As you can see, by default it is enabled. And also, you can set the uh, register period for one year, which is activated by default as you can see a special discount is already added in this case if if you found if you don't found any uh, discounts added uh, by default you can always search for name cheap coupon uh, using Google and once you get a coupon you can use this promo code field and apply it to get the discount so let's confirm the order so since this is the first time you are purchasing you will have to create an account provide the information required and create the account choose your mode of payment and complete the process all right you will have to fill all these information and complete the process. So let's head over to our next step that is purchasing a hosting account. So that is our first part. So we are done with it. Step is to get a hosting account. My recommendation is Hostgator. It's a great hosting provider who has been in the industry for a long time and their support is great. On top of that, they give first month's hosting for just one cent so you have nothing to worry about to get the discount you can use the coupon which is mentioned in the description of this video which is blg hlp one cent to get the discount so we will show you how to get the discount and the hosting account in the ne next few minutes you can see there are plenty of uh, hosting options what we are interested in is web hosting section here so go to web hosting you can see that there are three types of plans hatchling baby and business 
you can start with the hatchling plan but i would recommend you to get a baby plan uh, which which allows unlimited domain number of domains to be hosted in your hosting account so select the plan you like and click sign up so in the checkout page select the option i already own this domain so enter the domain you have just purchased in namecheap the next thing you have to do is to change the billing cycle to one month by default it is activated for three years so you have to change it to one month next fill out the username security ping and other billing information related to your purchase scroll down and you could see that there are additional services available but we are not interested in any of these at the moment so you have to uncheck all of them next you can enter the coupon code to get the first month's discount you can find this uh, coupon code in the description below and also the link to hostgator so once you have entered the coupon just validate it so even if you enter the coupon you can see that the amount due is, is still free we have to correct it so as you can see one additional service is added again so we have to uncheck it and you can see that the amount due is just one cent so make sure that uh, when you checking out the amount due is just one cent so check out now and complete the payment and you will receive the email from hostgator which contains uh, all the information related to your hosting account as well as your billing information the next thing we have to do is point the domain name towards the hosting account we got to do that we have to find the name servers provided by the hostgator open the email uh, you have you have got from hostgator and search for field call name servers you should have to update that we need to log into namecheap account you can sign in here you have to use uh, the username password you given while you are registering just sign in on the left hand side you can see that there's an option called domain list click on it it will show the available domains under your account in my case there are plenty of account, uh, domain names uh, this is the account which i have been using for a long time but in your case you will get you will have only one domain so go to manage which you can see on the right hand side scroll down you can see that uh, there is an option to update your name servers here so you have to select basically there are four types of domain uh, dns you can update you ca you have to select custom dns and enter the name servers given by hostgator in those two fields once you have done you have to check this tick mark to save it now we are done with that the next thing is to install wordpress so let's see how to do it open a new tab and type the domain you have just purchased if you see a page like this an index of page that means the name server propagation has completed but if you don't see anything like that then there's nothing to worry normally it takes uh, 24 to 48 hours to properly complete the uh, name server propagation so give some time to complete that tasks even if you don't see that uh, index of page uh, we can start uh, installing the wordpress if you see this page you can uh, type your domain name backslash cpanel cpanel is the interface where we can do all the tasks related to our hosting account 
such as installing WordPress, creating an email account, uh, creating FTP accounts, etc. So let's log into the cPanel. By the way, if you don't see any login page, you can try the temporary cPanel URL uh, provided in the email you received from Hostgator. Click on that and you will be directed to the login page, uh, what you can see here. You can find the cPanel username and password in the same email you have got from Hostgator. Use those credentials and login. So now you are in the cPanel dashboard. You can see that there are many icons related to various services. Just scroll down and under software and services, you can see an, uh, a service called quick install. That is what we are interested in. So click on it. It will open in a new tab. So this is where we are going to install WordPress. You can see apart from WordPress, there are many kinds of services modules available in the quick install dashboard. So among that you have to choose WordPress here. Then install WordPress. Select your domain name. In your case, there will be only one domain. So select that. But in my case, there are plenty of domains which is already hosted in my account. So I have to select the uh, the one which is which I am going to install WordPress. You can leave this uh, install path field empty. You can fill out all these details as you wish. One thing to remember is don't use uh, don't use admin as the admin username. Use something unique. So once the installation is complete, you will get a notification like this. Your install is complete. So it will uh, give your username and the password. So you will have to copy it uh, in somewhere safe. So that's it. Now we are done installing WordPress. Next thing we have to configure WordPress. So let's see how to do it. Open your site in new tab and you see that WordPress uh, is installed successfully. Go to, your, go to a new tab and open your site. So as you can see, instead of uh, that index of page we saw earlier, now a different uh, page appears that means the wordpress is installed so to do the uh, to configure the settings you will have to go to wordpress dashboard so you can go to wordpress dashboard by visiting url your domain name slash wp hash admin use the username password then login In this video, we will go through some of the important uh, components of the dashboard to give you an idea. But a more detailed video series will be followed. So I will focus on uh, four main things. Uh, that is uh, one, changing the theme, then installing a plugin and creating a post and a page. So let's start by installing a new theme. So what's the theme? Theme is actually the skin of your site. So you can uh, choose what your site to be by selecting a different theme. There are many uh, free and paid themes available. That is one uh, very good aspect. WordPress itself has a large collection of free themes. You can easily install one of them. I'll show you how to do it. On the left hand side, go to appearance and themes. And you can see you can add a new theme. You can filter the available themes according to various as aspects such as popularity, etc. For this tutorial, I will be using a Hemingway theme and show you how to change header and upload a logo to the site. So in the search field, search for your theme. If you know the name, go over and install the theme. Next step is to activate the theme. So once you have installed the theme successfully, you can see 
uh, you can customize the theme uh, visiting customize link so in the left hand side you could see that uh, you can change different aspects of the theme such as site identity colors what are the colors used in the theme and upload the new logo and a header image change the background image change menus widgets and use a static front page likewise this set of options will uh, vary depending on the theme so we'll upload a logo go to logo select an image in this case i'll be uploading a sample logo choose image you can see that logo has changed next thing you have to do is save and publish then go back we will change the uh, header image as well you can add a new image upload files so when you are trying to upload they will provide the suggested image dimension try to stick to that otherwise you will have to uh, crop so you can see the header image has changed so again we save the uh, changes you can see there are field called widgets widgets predefined elements uh, which can be used in the footer and the sidebar sidebar is uh, by default uh, so in some themes sidebar comes on the right which is the case here but you as you can see there are no elements in the uh, right hand sidebar so we will add some elements so under sidebar you can add widgets so there are many widgets available some are the, some of uh, default to wordpress and uh, some uh, themes itself will contain uh, widgets so let's add some let's add the search bar you can give a title so as you do the changes you can see that uh, appearance changes so now we have a search bar on, on the right hand side let's add uh, one more widget now we have added a recent post widget you can change this number as well you can make you can increase it or decrease it if you want to display the post date you can enable it if not you can disable it save let's go back and see what are the things in the uh, footer area so there's a long list of uh, widgets added to the footer so we will remove some of them you can remove it this way save and publish the changes you have done so now we have done uh, changing the uh, customizing the theme for this tutorial let's close it just head over to your site and see how it appears you can see a header image and the logo uploaded and you can see uh, right hand side uh, the widgets we have added search bar and the recent post and also you can see we have removed the widgets that were in the footer area so let's see how to add some content to the site there are two main uh, elements related to content uh, one is posts the other one is pages so let's add a post post are refers to uh, the blog post pages mainly refer to some static uh, html content that uh, don't change over the time posts are more dynamic so basically you can choose uh, uh, what are the posts you are gonna have in your site and as well as pages for an example you can have your about us uh, content as a page and also contact form as a page but you can update your site regularly by adding new blog posts so let's add a post 
go to post add new give a title let's add some content let's add an image as well so to add an image uh, you can place the cursor uh, where you want the image to appear then add media upload files or else you can use uh, whatever you have uploaded previously in under in the media library just go to upload files and select the file you want to add to the image it will ask what is the title caption and uh, all text so give a suitable title and an alt tag which is important you can set the alignment as you wish and uh, size so you can select uh, from uh, these sizes or you can keep it as the original size so i'd recommend you to go to the original side and insert into the post once you insert into the post you can change the size of it by dragging the image so you you can change as you wish and you can preview how the post is how the post look like using this preview button so this is the this is the way it looks so if you need to change the image size you can go back to the post window and select the image and drag the border and click preview so it will preview the changes so as you can see there are four types of formats so this will uh, vary based on your theme you are using different themes have different formats so we have we will use a category so you can add new categories or use the that are already uh, added previously on this in this case uh, we we don't have any categories so you have to add the category and give some tags so once you have done that you can publish your post unless you publish the post won't be uh, uh, visible to the outside users so if you visit your site now you can see your post appears home page and also you can uh, notice the change uh, that has happened in the recent post widget so now it it will uh, show uh, the two posts available so uh, so the next step we will add a plugin so what are the plugins plugins are extensions uh, we add to the wordpress which uh, bring additional capabilities that were not uh, available in the covid wordpress installation so plugin plugins are uh, great additions to wordpress that will enhance the capabilities of the core wordpress installation so uh, i'll show you how to add uh, plugins just go to pl plugins uh, add new so as an example uh, if you need to add a contact form to the site uh, then uh, we can use a plugin which will give us a contact form so that uh, we can include it in the include it in the page uh, without uh, uh, doing uh, any other work so let's see how to do uh, how to add a contact form so in in this case i will be using a plugin called contact form 7 so let's search for that under search plugins you can uh, search the contact form 7 
so that that's the first result we get uh, in the search window click install now and activate so you may notice a change in the left hand side now uh, a new element called contact has been added so that's uh, related to that contact form plugin we installed so let's see uh, what are the contact forms available by default it has added a contact form so let's go into it so it provides a short code which can be used anywhere in the site anywhere in the con cont any, any content field such as a post uh, page or a widget so let's copy it and go to page add new page so let's give a title the interface of adding a word uh, adding a wordpress page is more or less same as uh, posts but you you could notice that uh, there are no categories so these are some static pages so by default uh, the categories are not available for pages what you can only select is a template so again from theme to theme templates uh, will vary so let's give a title and insert the copied uh, short code and again you can preview it as you can see a nice uh, contact form has been added to the page so this is the beauty of using plugins there are plenty of plugins both free and paid ones available to accomplish various tasks that are not uh, part of the core wordpress so basically plugins enhance the capabilities of wordpress that's the beauty of uh, wordpress so let's publish this page notice that in the menu now there's one page that was uh, pre-built when installing the wordpress now let's see how it changed once we publish the new page as you can see the new page has come to the menu just click it and you can see a nice contact form has been added so as you can see with very minimum knowledge anyone can create a site easily with wordpress this video is only a beginning and I'll cover the configuration of WordPress as a series of videos that will be followed up. You can subscribe to my channel so that uh, when a new video is added, you will get the notification. Also, you can visit my site bloggershelp.com which is uh, available in the description uh, to get more information. You can find the written format of this tutorial also. You can even download it as a PDF. All the links mentioned in the tutorial will be available in the description so make sure you check them out and uh, that's it for the time being so we will soon uh, see you with our next video thank you for watching